Alright guys, just a quick side note before you watch the video, when I downloaded Railcraft, uh, client 5.3.3, it's actually 5.3.2. So when you get to that part, make sure you download 5.3.2. It's documented inside of the uh, Word document, so that's there for your info. We need Railcraft 5.3.2, as well as inside of the document itself, right here, when you get to IC2, there is no official link anymore for 1.9.5, so the link is right here, the licensing agreement is right here. This link right here will bring you right to the download to it, but again, the licensing agreement is right there. So other than that, guys, you download those two and instead of the other two that I did, because you got to remember, when you're downloading mods for Bucket, Bucket needs to be ported. The mods need to be ported to Bucket in order to work, so these are kind of backlogged a little bit. Uh, eventually, we'll get 5.3.3, and eventually, we'll get 1.9.7, or 1.97, whatever. Other than that, enjoy the video, and uh, we will see you on the server. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Nearby Nation, in this video I'm going to show you how to install all the mods that you will need for the Nearby Nation, step by step. Also, this instance will work for the uh, vanilla as well, so uh, you can use both for either one, just put the IPs in there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use MultiMC to do this, because it's a simple, easy way to do it. We're basically just going to go ahead and create a new instance, so I'm going to make this called test nearby click OK and now we're gonna have to run this at least once for it to get all the Minecraft Mojang files that it will need so it's running in the background it's gonna go ahead and load up like it usually does it's gonna be a vanilla version of Minecraft don't worry about the uh, command prompt in the back that's just a secondary option that I have installed so I can see what's going on in the background if I do have anything that messes up as well you will get this in the description below Go ahead and click it now and download it. It's a very small file, but it includes some mods that the uh, mod creators gave us permissions for. So, pretty awesome. We're hoping to get a bundle together with all the uh, mods that are in the pack. It depends on permission based, asking mod makers to get their permission to put them inside the pack. So, anyways, for now, this is half config pack, half a little bit of mods. So, basically, when you open it up, you're going to get this right here right here yeah, actually should I say and inside of there let me go ahead and put this in there so it's all together my bad quick solution okay so inside of there you're gonna get this so you get goes in jar mods mods to download build craft all that kinda of stuff go ahead and make that look like it's gonna look in the folder something like that anyways so what we're gonna need to do is go in jar and we're gonna right click right here and go to edit mods in the minecraft.jar we're going to throw this in there as well we're going to go back here we're going to open up mods to download and inside of this it will have a couple that need to go inside of the uh, minecraft.jar so let, wait for a second and let that open up eventually it'll open up maybe I have to go ahead and end task in order to get it to open up when word why do you do this to me so I'm going to end that task Really? Really, Windows Word? Why oh, you gotta be like this? In task. How many times I gotta kill you, Windows? Huh? 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 Huh, Word? How many times I gotta kill you? You know what? Let's edit with Notepad. How's that? Oh, wow. Maybe not. Come on. There we go. Never mind. So now we're working. Now we're on the right track. Now, the reason why I put this in a Word document as well as there's a text document as well, so you can go ahead and shift click, or I'm sorry, control click in order to download the files. So, we're going to go with NEI add ons and code chicken bone. So, control click. I'm going to throw this over to the side. Put this down. Oh, we can't. Oh, well. All right. So, scroll down a little bit. Go to not enough items. Actually, code chicken core first. Download the client. Go ahead and wait your five seconds through your ad fly to support the mod makers. Uh, there we go. Click that to skip. Go back and scroll back down. We're going to need not enough items. NEI to be short. Client. Go ahead and wait. You can also just go ahead and throw this in there because we're waiting. Click that. Not enough items. Wait for it to fully download, throw it over there. There's a couple other things that you might want installed to know how to make. So if you go to NEI and you go to install instructions and downloads, 
come down here you need RC plugins for Railcraft and Red Power this is so you can see the items and how to craft them in NEI I'm not sure why they're not initially added have no clue on the back end about that but you do need to download these two in order to be able to officially see Railcraft and small basically it's like small blocks it allows you to set up some settings in NEI which is pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and go that go ahead and get the uh, red power one as well wait our five seconds skip that and throw this one over there alright that's all we need in the minecraft.jar I'm actually not even sure you need these two in the minecraft.jar they'll probably run just fine inside of the mods folder but just for the heck of it let's throw them in the minecraft.jar so now we need to go back to our word document and race minimap this is an optional thing but it works really good especially in maps where you need to set stuff like where's your ore and stuff like that you've seen me use them in my let's plays and it's really awesome I would advise downloading it just for the heck of it because it is really good but it's not a necessary mod alright skip throw that in the minecraft mods folder now we're gonna need additional pipes scroll down the link right here is for additional pipes forge version remember we want buildcraft 2.2.1.4 because that is the only SMP version 3.1.5 is not SMP yet so click client click download throw that over there go back to this advanced machines alright scroll all the way down here we're wanting 4.0 because that's the only one that's ported to bucket as of this moment so 4.0 throw that over there and as well scroll up the next link will be for uh, compact solars which is actually the same website if you think about it if you look at it it's the same one because actually I can't show you now but it links to this my bad so anyways you can click that and get directly to it and we're gonna need this version right here for 1.2.5 forge version so click that right there download download throw that over there go forward again alright come back over here now that we have compact solars and advanced machines we need buildcraft ABO this one's a little confusing to get first we need to go to spoilers go to download right here now we need to go to 2.2.14 because this is the buildcraft version that we have and then we're also going to need this one right here 97 so click that throw that over there alright now we're going to need forestry so control click to get to that scroll down go to client for the newest uh, you want to make sure that you get 2.2.14 remember that client keep throw that over there alright now I need IC2 client keep throw that over there Just keep scrolling down nuclear control scroll down should be somewhere around here right there it is nuclear control we're gonna need the client version again make sure you're getting client versions of all these because if you don't it will not work properly and you will get a nice white screen iron chests so we're gonna control click to get to that scroll down we want to go to downloads for three point uh, what version did it say 3.4 so we do need the newest version of iron chest so 3.4 right here click that click download and scroll over alright now we're gonna need railcraft so control click to that scroll down Railcraft right here, client 5.3.3. Wait for that to update and get through the AppFly link. Skip and throw over. Alright, we only got a few left. We already have nuclear control. My bad. Let me go ahead and delete that off there. Alright, now we need red power. This is going to be a long list of ones, so we got to click all these links right here and throw them over so there's the first one so we got core now now we're gonna need logic so I'm gonna throw core over there wait our five seconds to get logic 
start downloading logic, go back, start downloading wire, throw logic over. Start downloading wire, go back, start downloading lighting, throw that over. Skip, throw lighting over, go back, go to uh, world, skip, there's your world, go back and get machines and the last one would be control. So download that one, machines, go back, control. Download that one, throw that over there, and we have one other thing which is chicken bones. And this is full fledged all the way back to chicken bones mods. We need to go to the wireless redstone, go to install, and we're Gonna need client, client, and client, both core add on and red power. So, wait for this to get ready to download. Click that. Throw that over there. Oops, sheesh, my bad. Throw that over there. There we go. Go back. Unfortunately, you have to go back through the spoilers again. So, add ons. Wait that out. Need some music in the background to keep this going, you know? It's already been 10 minutes for an install video. It's pretty crazy. A lot of stuff to do. Like I said, we're hoping to get this set up where you guys will make it a lot easier to uh, just click a button and get everything. So, uh, last thing, Red Power. This is the last thing we need to download to put together. But we also have some mods inside of our folder that we got permissions for that we needed to put inside as well. So, skip add. I swear I pressed skip. There we go, red power, throw that over there. All right, we can close all those out. We can close that out if we want. I'll go ahead and save it since I edited it. All right. Now we need to go inside of nothing configs. We're gonna need to throw these mods in there, which again is inside of the nearby nation folder. So I'm just gonna click all these and drag them over and they will all be added as well as there is buildcraft configs and red power that need to all go into the centralized folder so what we're gonna do is close that out right click go to view folder minecraft and inside of here is where we're gonna drag all of these so I'm just gonna copy them over copy paste alright we're good alright now we should just be able to run this and it should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and add all this up. And there we go. Another suggestion would be to download Optifine. This is again a suggestion, so if you do want to do that, it's really simple. Just uh, Optifine. There's that right there. Again, go over here and go to uh, Edit Mods. It's gonna go into your Minecraft.jar. So whichever Optifine that you choose, I'm just going to download the smooth one. So download that. Wait for the ad fly. Three, two, one. Like that. Download. And, ooh, nice ad. Throw that over there. All right. Now we have that all set up, we should be able to just run this just fine with Optifine. Now if it gives me an error, it's all about Optifine, right? I'm just kidding, Optifine. Alright, so let's just create a single player world, make sure all this is working. We're not getting like, chunks all messed up or anything like that. Shouldn't have any problem like that, so we'll see. It's gonna open up, and I'm just gonna go full screen just for the heck of it. Connect escape, make sure we have our small blocks. Yes, we do. Have all the small blocks. Probably have all Railcraft too. Right there. 
Got all the railcraft so we can actually R click and see how to make all of that kind of stuff. Pretty awesome guys, so that's exactly how do you set up everything for the nearby nation. It's pretty simple, I'm getting frame lag because I'm like a 1080p screen right now. Uh, let's see. This is not the official IP. <laughs> of course, because it says no IP, but anyways. I'm not even sure if they have it up right now. We're still working on it, guys. Nah, it's not up right now, so I can't show you exactly it working, but trust me, it does work. And that is exactly how you install every single thing that you need to get on the nearby nation. Thank you, guys. If you did not get this, just go back through the video and try it again. It's try, try, try again. It will work for you. Trust me. Just make sure you get the right versions that I got, and make sure that you got everything that's in the jar supposedly in the jar everything that's supposed to go in the mods in the mods and get all the configs set up so they don't actually make an error make sure you put the configs inside before you go ahead and run minecraft other than that guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye